how do there chums tis i captain of the steves and today chums for you guys in the viewerverse i've got some news i've got some news from sean of the murray yes the horse's mouth over at hello games so let's jump on over to the old tinterwebs and let's get into the news shall we people inside of the viewerverse chicka pow pow and there i am on the old tinterwebs sean of the murray seven hours ago hotfix 4.65 is releasing on all platforms with lots of ongoing fixes and improvements well when you jump on over to their website people over on you know no man's sky .coms, and you have a look at the release log you can see here that it's on pc ps4 ps5 not quite all platforms just yet people but that is commonplace these days isn't it commonplace anyway let's jump on in and let's take a quick look see at these lovely orbital patches 4.65 now, apparently on PC, the actual update is quite large in gigabytes. But there is reason behind all of that, people inside of the Viewerverse. But anyway, I'll get to that in a moment. So yeah, hold your horses, people inside of the Viewerverse. Now, I'm not going to read all of these. You know, I'm just going to put them on screen and you can see them there. But the general gist of it, there's a lot of mission markers and things like that after the orbital update, for whatever reason, that have gone a bit squiffy. They've fixed a lot of that squiffiness. A lot of the interactions inside of the space stations when you're trying to talk to vendors and things like that, and also holographic projections of your weapons and all sorts of other holograms have been fixed as well. There's lots of little quality of life things that shouldn't have been broken, that were broken, that are now fixed. A lot of that. There are, however, quite a lot of different crashes that have been fixed as well. Now, I've been hit up by quite a fair few people to say that when they try loading their game in, it crashes on loading. There is a specific fix amongst these patches that stops a crash with complexity. So if you've gone and saved your base in a very, well, saved your save at a very complex base or on your freighter or something like that, that's also quite complex or even at your settlement or something like that, it might actually save your game file. Now, I've seen quite a lot of people... There we go, here we go. Fixed a rare crash when rendering complex scenes. So, yeah. After this rolls out on your platform, if you have problems with loading in your game, you know, you're going through all the title screen with the star field, No Man's Sky, boom! And you're moving around that star, and just about before it loads your game in, black screen, dead! And you've tried unplugging your network cable, which is usually this the fix for that, and that hasn't worked. Hopefully this patch might actually fix your game save, people. So that one for me is probably the biggest one amongst all of these. But there are other rare crashes and all sorts of other stuff there. There's a rare, the rare crash there with third-person camera. So again, maybe if you saved your game in third-person camera view at a weird place, who knows? Maybe it might actually help with that. Who knows, people? But there we go, there's all sorts of other crashes that have now been fixed is what I'm saying, people. So hopefully, if you have been having crash after crash after crash, hopefully those crashes are going to be reduced or even completely negated. But yeah, just keep checking back to see if it rolls out on your platform, people. So why is it big on PC? Well, let me get into that. So, I'm back over on a conversation with that bomber boy. I uh, had a conversation with him the other day about, you know, all these sort of weirdness that's going on with inside of maybe, the, you know, the, the whole compiler that they use for mods and, you know, data mining. Anyway, if you didn't miss that video and don't know what I'm on about, hit that. Anyways, lots of little things about the game go unheard of because of the modding community. It's pretty niche, blah, blah, blah. That was yesterday. This is today. Update on this, Monkey Man's update to the MBIN compiler, so all the mods should be compa compilable for the experimental now. So basically, mods, those that make mods, if you're watching, you should be able to compile your mods in the same way that you used to and get them back out there and they should actually start working again. That's awesome news. Hopefully I might see my Majestic Diplos again, get rid of that Starfield sort of noise. So yeah, I'm quite happy about that one. I'm very happy indeed, because yes, it does help my PC play. As you know, my PC is slightly under par for doing what I need it to do. So every mod that helps with optimization helps with optimization. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, Coolio, I did ask if there was anything interested found in the game files, Quicksilver hints, or even Expedition lines. Nope, nothing. The reason the update is so big 
Since every file had its header info changed, Steam still registers as them all being modified and so re-downloads most of them. So yeah, although that I saw a massive file there and I thought there was something hidden in it, that's not the case, people inside the viewerverse. It's just Hello Games have added in new header records. Nothing under the hood apart from some material changes. A small, probably unused, property in the animations being removed and a single property in creature info being changed. Aha! Are they going to attack hazardous flora? Fingers freaking crossed they might. Yeah, I might actually get my pet out then. Yeah, it, in the original patch notes, it said that they would take out hazardous flora. And I was like, yay, awesome, brilliant. No, no, they don't. But yeah, hopefully, maybe that could be a thing. Probably not, though. Cool. Thank you. And there we go. So, yeah, you can see there that's that's happened relatively soon. In 7 of the 7.38 of the PMs. It's getting quite late here. What's that? Yeah, so it's now 8.30. So it's taken me an hour to fire up my PC and make a video. Had to have my din-dins. Yes, I did. Anyway, people, um, that's that's the news. That's the news. Massive, great, big load of patches going out to all platforms, in Sean of the Murrow's words. Yet when you look at their website, you can see it's only PC, PC PS4, PS5. At the moment, hopefully it rolls out on all platforms as stated, and hopefully everybody can enjoy a more crash-free experience in No Man's Sky. Touch wood. I'm on PlayStation 5, and I haven't had crashes for ages. I've probably jinxed myself now. Probably jinxed myself. Touching wood or not, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. Anyway, people. Hopefully there was something amongst those patch notes that took your eye. Something that you're happy about. Till next time. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again. Chaotic serenity Always leaving me The greatest comics for all the world to see She's a lovely viewer Of my YouTube channel A valued member I can't handle Massive thank you from Captain Steve For the support she helps me achieve With every like and every share She shows me love like she just don't care Chaotic serenity You're my number one fan You always lift me up Just because you can From the bottom of my heart This is my plea Thank you, thank you for being